okay, please don't chew me up, all right? I went to Paris, I didn't upload anything. I'm doing it now, give me some breaks. But uh, yeah, I went to Paris and it's so funny. Like literally, I, I have no joke, maybe two or three years ago, I said with my mouth that I would go to Paris, France. Like I was just saying to myself, like, I want to go there. I really want to go there. And, you know, family ended up uh, having a wedding and I was invited, obviously. So I went and it was such a great experience. So I stopped on the food pretty much because American Airlines, they hooked it up. I just have to say that they hooked it up. The food was great. I ate real good. Now this wine actually, is there anywhere I can stop this? Okay. So, yeah. So the bride, um, <clears throat> actually I was able to like chop it up with her the day after the wedding and she had like this wine collection. So, you know, we got to talking and she was just like, you know what? Um, yeah, I definitely, um, am fine with you having a glass of, uh, a bottle of wine. And I said, Rip, excuse me. So basically I got to pick out of one of these wines and I went with the sweet one, obviously, but, um, yeah, she gave me a little lesson on it too. So, um, shout out to her cause that was real dope. Like I loved it. Um, she was so sweet. And this is just us going to Sephora where I got my scandal perfume. And, um, yeah, then we're just walking and what else are we doing? Um, I forget the name of this actual place, but it was beautiful. This was like, honestly, I feel like this is more breathtaking. One of like, probably this is probably this is the best looking thing. I mean, like people made such a big deal about the Eiffel Tower, but at nighttime it is nice, but mm, you know, we'll talk about that another time. Um, and yeah, the stairs, the stairs, the stairs, the stairs. Woo. When I, if I stayed here for a week easily, I'd probably lose 20 pounds. I would for sure lose 20 pounds. Like this was no joke. I was like, oh wow. Okay. This is what we're doing. Okay. But, um, yeah, I mean, it was beautifully done, just the architecture and everything about of the building, but these stairs, I didn't, I didn't prepare for that. Not my hips. My hips, baby. No, my hips could not. Mm -mm, they wasn't ready for that. There goes my cousin. <laughs> and just walking again another night. This was, I don't know what street, y'all. Forgive me. I am sorry, but it was cute. I liked the buildings. Everything was nice, I'm telling you. You know, the architecture was really nice. At nighttime, it's it's... It's really a vibe at night. Okay, now this. I got emotional here. I should probably let you guys hear this. But this was just a surreal moment for me. Um, for anyone that knows, I was diagnosed with lupus in 2014. And it was, it was something. So to walk, I literally walked to the Eiffel Tower. Like I walked <laughs> a long walk. <laughs> I don't know how many miles it was, but I walked a long walk. We were trying to get there before it closed. And all I could think about when I got there was like, wow, I just, I walked this whole walk and I was so proud of myself and just looking at everything, it, it was, it was something. And I just, you know, I, all I could think about was how good God is. And, you know, you, you don't know what this life will bring, but whether it's good, it's bad, it's, it's emotional, it's, it's, it's a roller coaster, but you'll get through it, you'll get over it, and at the end, there's so much beauty that you're like, wow, I went through that to see this masterpiece at the end, and I'm not done yet. But, you know, I was so grateful just to, just to walk that far. Because, man, when I tell y'all, it has not been easy. I went from wheelchairs to canes to crutches. Like, <laughs> man, the day I tell my actual thing without crying, 
I will let you guys know, but <clears throat> this was such a great trip. I'm so happy, and definitely let me know if you want more videos like this. Bye, you guys.